So while everybody is focusing on the new map port, there is actually an amazing addition on Northridge, the new cable car station. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an ultimate guide about looting, weapons, how to extract, and everything you need to know about this new location. Let's start with the loot. You're gonna have three safes, of which one is completely free. It's a secret safe near the entrance of the location. You need to start opening it, and then there's a timer, you need to wait for 60 seconds to open it i think the loot is not like great or maybe i was just unlucky but still it's a free safe and we all love free stuff the second safe is also near the entrance so if you look at the location from the front then it's on the left hand side in the other building bottom floor of the other building but this safe is behind a locked door but i absolutely do not recommend going for that safe because that key costs approximately 45k and you can use it only once and you have one standard safe and the premium weapon case that's it i purchased it once and i only had like one purple item so let's skip that but the third one is amazing guys so deep into the location you're gonna have a ticket office and within that an electric safe that that key is gonna cost you 150k but it's worth it i'm sure that it's just a matter of time until i find at least one red item on top of the safes you have two drawers one with four shelves another one with three you have pro toolboxes you have gym bags you have jackets you have all kind of stuff there's plenty of loot for at least two players but to be frankly honest that loot i described is just secondary compared to the loot you can grab from the incoming players so let's talk about the battle for the cable car station if you are lucky and you have a nice spawn then you may be the first one arriving to the location if that's the case then you should be securing the front buildings because you have multiple windows from the outside these areas are pretty dark so you can have a good angle on the surrounding areas and similarly to armory and radio station there are some cliffs and rocks around those are the areas you want to watch because the attackers are most likely going to use those cliffs and rocks to hide themselves and they are going to watch the window so don't just stay there in the window because from the inside you have a good angle but from the outside there's just a bunch of windows they need to check okay so from the inside it's actually not that easy to defend because of the trees the cliffs and the rocks and everything that is around you if you are on the attacking side then the windows are the first ones you want to check okay there is actually a roof in the building in which you have the secret safe so if you run upstairs there are some good spots to hide where you can have a nice angle both to the left hand side and also to the right hand side so utilize that to summarize it it's like defending your fort because you have just one entrance into the location it's a wide entrance you can use multiple stairs and doors to get into the location but ultimately the enemies can come only from one direction sometimes the area is fully guarded by bots but it's random in other games it's kind of almost empty if you want to go for the cable car station i recommend you picking up an m4 maybe a full m110 svds and obviously the sniper rifles i would avoid using smgs like mpx and mp5 because of the distances we have and this is generally true for northridge with the exception of the hotel after picking up all of the loot and eliminating some of the incoming players picking up their stuff and having your bags full there is one more thing you need to do you need to extract and good news is that there is an extraction within the location yes that's correct like armory and the canal all you need to do is to run deep into the location down on the stairs at the back of the location you're gonna have the cable car extract there is a control room next to it so if you enable the switch then in three minutes you are off to go the only requirement is to be in the cable car when the extraction timer ends and that's it but be cautious because when you enable the switch there's going to be a notification seen by all players on the map similar to dam for example or armory which means that after enabling enabling the switch you cannot just lay back and wait for the extraction timer to end be prepared because some of the players are sneaky and are going to try to attack you after seeing the notification you don't need to be in the cable car during the extraction timer so feel free to run around or hide somewhere else from incoming players and you're gonna hear a visual um, notification approximately at 12 seconds before 
the extraction ends. So guys, the last thing that is remaining is that I am wishing you nice loots, happy killing and all kind of stuff. And in exchange, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and as always, enjoy the day. See you next time. Bye, Shady out.